but not the pickups. Yeah. So it basically the pickups came in and uh, came on Johnny the Fox. Yeah, and the tour, the American tour just before Brian Johnny the Fox. Because a lot of people were uh, obviously think that the black guitar, the Les Paul, yeah, uh, you know, that you were custom was it that you were talking about just now? Yeah. Obviously, that's featured on uh, you know one of the videos, the Live and Dangerous video, yeah. you're playing "Still in Love with You," and but uh, basically the. The only reason that you were using that guitar was because that one was uh, being repaired at the time. Well, yeah, and we were we were on the road for quite a long period of time, and so having got used to the black one, I didn't. I was kind of reticent to swap to. Yeah. So I didn't have time to work it, to work on no. it. Basically, it'd just be refretted and new pickups. It's yeah. quite a handful, mm. and we didn't really have the time. So at soundcheck, so I just uh, carried on with the black one. Right. But I've realised since that really hasn't got a patch on this one. No. I noticed when you were playing also that you used quite a lot of damping, um, which yeah. gives a nice, nice effect of dynamics and uh, a change in sound. Um, I was wondering if you could possibly just demonstrate a few of the, or, you know, the damping technique that you use, uh, you know, so we can see that. Certainly, um, it's. I guess you should really always keep your. I mean, you can see on the guitar here, yeah. it's worn away from basically my hand sitting on the bridge. Yeah. And if you use that part of your hand, you can move it back and forward, and you can control it down. Right. Okay. You can't. You've really got to rest on it. Yeah. You can't. If you're playing like this, you're not going to get anywhere. You've got to become part of the thing and right. sit into it. Uh, there's several different ways of dampening. You can da also dampen with your thumb as you play. Oh as right. Play, like the ZZ Top. Sort yeah. Of thing. Pull off before the actual note play. Right. Well, I'm not actually hitting that note very hard, but you know it's there. Yeah. It's supposed to be. Right. Oh, I see. So you, you don't pick it. You just yeah. Finger off. Yeah. So with that one. Yeah, I got it. I can hear it, but you know it's there. Yeah. And that's yeah. a very subtle way of doing it. Really. Right. Okay. Uh, if you're playing chords, you can basically damp it from yeah. here. As long as you're playing too many notes, you can yeah. use yeah, your fingers to do it. So basically, just to recap on that, if we're playing around the uh, A position again, one of the methods of damping is to just play the note and then lift the finger off yeah. like that. And then when we come into the E... Yeah. Yeah. You, can, you can even take that off and... I, I, I dampen a lot of the notes I dampen won't be the end one. Okay. It'll be the one, you can just hit that one after it. If you're going to give that hint of a note, yeah. you play the last note very hard. Oh, I see, yeah. Let's just go back to the G then. Yeah. I understand. So you don't actually hit it again, it's hinting at things. Yeah. And that's what gives you the space mm. when playing blues. Yeah. One of the things I noticed that you were doing earlier, which I, I, I really liked, and I think this is how you were doing it, yeah. you seem to be pressing actually harder on the fretboard to get certain effects with certain notes and a little bit lighter you know, with other things. Could you maybe show us a, a couple of things that um, involve that sort of technique? Yep. Uh, basically, again, it boils down to changing the sound of your guitar, changing right. the sound of your notes. Uh, it's not just the effect of what it does to the note, it's the tone of what it does to the note right. as well. And you have to remember that when you're doing it. Right. Um, there's several different ways of doing it, depending on which string you're hitting. Yeah, could you just show six um, Yeah, six, all six. <laughs> you know. uh, no, if, you, if you're well up high on yeah. something that's really driving, then, yeah. you know, if you press down hard, when you're further down here. Play something soft, you know. If I, too, if I push these down hard on that one, yeah. uh, it changes the character totally. Right. Does it? You're using your right hand a bit there as well, but... 
pulling has a lot to do with it as well. Again, it boils down to what you're going to play after your note. You just let down hard. Yeah. Usually, you're not going to get the, the vibrato hard enough and quick enough unless you push down hard. Right, okay. If you're playing it soft, you tend to play a yeah. smoother vibrato. So, if you basically what you're saying is it gives you more control if you. Vicious vibrato by just yeah. the string by plus, the plus you get the, yeah. the ups and downs and the tones, yeah. which gives you a, a lot more to choose from. Mm. After all, it is one instrument, absolutely. And regardless of whether it has two pickups, treble, da da da, yeah. if you don't know how to use the, the actual guitar itself, mm. the neck and the strings, then you're limiting yourself. Yeah. Uh, and there's so much more to be got from it, and especially yeah. if you're playing blues. Right. Is there any other techniques that you'd like to discuss with us that you use, you know, purely from getting different sounds from the guitar just by where you play and how you manipulate the strings, etc.? Well, obviously, you know, the obvious ones are uh, playing midsection on the neck and right. playing up. You know, obviously, if you're playing up here, there's a lot more attack on it mm. uh, if it's a hard driving sort of thing. Mm. Um, but again, you use both octaves in which, whichever key you're in yeah. uh, to put forward the tone and the attitude of what that part is. Right. Uh, again, it gives you ups and downs. Mm. Uh, and generally, most of it is, is down to as you, as you hear it and feel it. Yeah. Uh, I can't stress that enough in blues, right. to be honest. Yeah. Um, and it will go on to all sorts of other types of music because it can be applied to any lead guitar. Right. Really. Okay. Um, and basically, if you spend the time to look at what you're doing there, and then once you suss that all out, forget it. Just yeah. do it. Don't even look at the neck. Don't even go to it. No, don't even look at it. Just play it as you feel it. Yeah. yeah. Okay.